Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, it is Taylor with an E. Um, I hope you guys are excited because I'm excited. It's freaking weekend. It's Friday. It's Fenty Face Friday. Hence, my Fenty products that I'm using today. So this is a look that I'm creating. It's really not an eye look. Um, I really just did my face. Not really just did. I only did my face so that's what you're gonna see in this video if you continue watching but i will post the product details and everything in the description box as well as once i take some pictures post it on my insta so make sure you're following me on there as well i used the jackie Ina palette on my eyes it's so cute right so cute so cute i'm not gonna close my eyes because i'm ass at putting on lashes so they're probably the only way on but uh yeah so if you guys want to see this look keep on watching don't forget to like comment subscribe to your girl leave a cute comment say hey and follow me on insta okay okay all right so let's get into this see y'all big dolls later i'm starting with the fenty hydrating primer because your girl is a dry faced mama. And I don't have the time to be dealing with these people. I feel like I have a pimple coming. It hurts, kind of my nails. I don't have time for these people coming for me because my face look ashy. It's not ashy, I promise. And this stuff feels amazing. Like my skin is melting. My camera gonna focus perfect it literally feels like my skin is melting it literally feels like i'm getting a pimple right like on my nostril but yo this feels great oh my gosh my face feels like silk <laughs> my face feels like silk omg but it's kind of dry right here so i'm gonna put a little bit more right in the crevice of my nose right there ah oh, it's so moisturizing it feels so good I've been cheating I know this is the first time me making a video using this foundation but I have been using the Fenty Hydro foundation um I've used it maybe like three times before and I like it a lot. I got the color 420 just because I did a shade match to my neck. And my neck is kind of dark. My face is kind of, you know, pale looking compared to my neck. So I got a shade to match my neck. If it looks dark, don't come for me. Because did nobody ask you. But yes, look at the coverage on this foundation. Look at it. I know you see it. I know you see it. So this foundation, um, A fucking plus. Honestly, truly. Because it feels so good on my skin. Like, my skin doesn't feel like it's cakey or nothing. It just feels great like Tony the Tiger great and the brush that I'm using is the NYX number 37 brush also called the can't stop won't stop foundation brush oh yeah I filled in my brows and I did my eyes obviously off camera but um I did use the Fenty brow pencil to do my eyebrows too and I'm about to take this out because they're not doing anything but getting away. I like the brow pencil too. The color that I got in that, since we're on the sub, um, I got the shade black brown. I was about to say, don't stay. But I got the shade black brown and it looks pretty good to me. So I'm just going to buff this foundation in. 
I'm taking the Pro Filter Concealer in the color 340. And I know there's nothing in here really, but we're gonna try to get something out of it. Cause we're gonna attempt to do a foundation routine with all Fenty products. I wanna go back to using a beauty sponge, but I'm like kinda scared because I haven't been using one for so long. And my makeup has been coming out really good without it. So we are still not gonna use one. But the brush that I have been using that I am like in love with is the NYX number 26. It's technically a setting brush, but I use it to blend down my concealer because it literally works like a charm. And I'm sitting on the floor because I am a floor child. I like sitting on the floor. I like laying on the floor. I like doing my makeup on the floor. It's comforting. It's a level of comfort for me. So that's why I'm here. And once again, y'all are not going to come for me. So I'm going to try to use a sponge. I'm just going to use a sponge to like really blend it out. I feel like it's freaking taking my makeup off. Like, I don't know if y'all can see it in this area right here, but it's literally taking my whole makeup off. That's why, that's why I don't do it. Cause they about to have me looking like I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So yeah, no. That's a no go on the beauty sponge. Again, cause now my, sh oh, so messed up now. Or maybe I just used the wrong brush. Because I have two of these brushes, and one of them I use for my highlighter, and the other one I use for my concealer. And I definitely use the one that I put my highlighter on with. So we're just going to cover that up. For contour, I'm going to take the Fenty Concealer in the shade 445. And we're just going to snatch our little cheek dinks the brush that I'm going to use for that is going to be another NYX brush, number 5. And it's an actual contour brush. Contour. I really said contour. Contour blush. Brush. Contour brush. There we go. Fun fact, I actually hate contouring my nose because I don't do it that well. But I make it work for what it's worth. I just don't like doing it. I feel like I never blend it out enough. And then my nose just be looking cray cray. All right, now I'm gonna take my Fenty Banana Powder and we're gonna set this face of mine. First, let me make sure there's no creasage going on. I'm gonna sculpt out underneath my contour like this. So this next step, I'm actually gonna skip I don't own a Fenty bronzer. That's probably like 
The only thing I don't own. That's Fenty face wise. So I'm gonna skip that part because I don't wanna false advertise you guys. Yeah. So now we are nice highlighted contoured. Um I was gonna do something a little bit different with my blush and use one of the Fenty Mademoiselles. Actually, I'm still gonna do that. So I'm gonna take the Mademoiselle in Spanked. Oh, this is perfect. I really wanted to do something pink. And I thought this one was the Freckled Fiesta one. But it's not. So I'm just going to take some. Put it on the back of my hand. And this is Spanked, by the way. It's a pink. And then I'm just going to take my brush. And like smudge it. And then apply it like normal. Just give me some color. <laughs> I'm gonna tone it down some, so don't worry. I just really love blush. It's literally like a thing thing. But I'm gonna tone it down some. like toned down now and now I'm going to use my matchsticks and I have the colors tripping and rum they look crazy because I literally like shave them down so I can use them but I'm gonna mix them together to give me a nice highlight and once again I'm gonna put these on the back of my hand too it warms up the products, so it's not like super rough going onto my skin. Make sure I use the right brush. I have two of these brushes, and I use one of them for my highlighter. Actually, let me just use the Fenty highlighter brush. No, it has too much stuff on it. Pop it on. Mm. Look at it, guys. It's so freaking beautiful. And I'm putting tripping right on top to just kind of like solidify the highlight. You see the difference? So we're gonna solidify this highlight on this side. And that, my friends, is how I got, get, got, get a fifty face. So what I'm gonna do now is put some lashes on, finish my eyes, put some lips, and I'll come back with a completed look. Okay? Okay. See you in a little bit. Alright, we're back, and it seems like this took me five ever to do. Because I was like watching a video and everything else too. But here's the final look. I'm kind of like trying to play with my hair a little bit so I can get some good pictures. Um, I put on a lip, some lashes, of course. I finished up my eyes. But this came out freaking the bum. <laughs> if I can say so myself. So yeah, I'm going to film my intro video, so y'all probably gonna see this full look again. But I just wanted to show you guys one more time before I end this video. So here it is. Mm.